Welcome to mission 12 of my IL-2 career. I am just waiting for a new mission to load. So here's the map for today. It's a bomber escort mission. We are attacking Krimskaya so that the Russian advance can continue and surprise, surprise, the departure point for the bombers is there as it is every single time so we hardly have any flying time on the german side of the lines today so we may get there and back without any interception at all uh, we'll go with our farafantov which is my yak 7 preferred skin and we are good to go Unpause and throttle back, and we'll just get settled in the cockpit here. I'll leave the lights off, I think. And the bombers are arriving over exactly the same point that they arrive every single time, and they are probably A20s because they're flicking in and out. For a dynamic complain, uh, for a dynamic campaign, <laughs> campaign, this does have some elements which are incredible, incredibly repetitive. For example, the bombers always arrive from there; they always depart from exactly the same waypoint every single time. I've never seen bombers coming up the coast from that direction. It's always there. Okay, they've actually completely disappeared. They may have flown into that cloud. Yes, they have. Looks like we're a formation of six today. Right, he's away. Gear up. Bombers are dead overhead already. Okay, I'm going to hide the HUD. Don't normally do that, but I'm going to do it this mission. Right, off to Krimskaya we go. I'm underneath the bombers, so I'm going to climb out in front of them. And I climbed at 250 in the last mission in the Yak-1. Pretty sure the Yak-7 can climb just a little bit better. Go for the same climb speed. Another thing that's done quite well in BOSS is the, the glare out on the sun. If you stare at the sun like this in DCS, pretty much nothing happens. In BOSS you get a lot of white out, which is quite nice. I think in Cliffs of Dover your screen almost completely whites out, which is also quite good. 
but it's it's very difficult to see what's what's there when you stare directly at the sun. Um, that's something DCS needs to have a look at, if you ask me. So as per last mission, the bombers have the leader, the bulk, and then they've got one guy tagging, trailing behind. Exactly the same thing happened in the last mission. Probably the same squadron. Useless. Same dude. Mate, sort it out. So I've still got this rather terrible hay fever that I had during the last mission, so my voice is going to be a bit stuffy again. Okay, there's gunfire over here, and it looks to be shooting up. Yep, I've got bombers attacking down low. Okay, these guys are clear for now. Let's just have a look. Where are they? Uh, disappeared. I will go and rejoin if I can't find them quickly. There they are. Right, I'm being a bit naughty here. Single engine fighters, four of them.
Okay. I can see my bombers. And I'm being sixed here. And it looks like the other fighters dropped down as well. Because he just got shot at, this guy. So all the AI fighters have dropped down. This guy's on my left here. Got long six, but it's no threat. Still okay behind. Okay, what's this guy going after? He's got something on his nose. They're gonna make a head on attack, these two. They merged, but there was no shooting. Right, we're about to fly into another scrap here. I'm keeping on this guy. Okay, I've got the speed on him. He's turning too much now. We can close here. Oh, that was a bit of a waste of ammo there. That was not. He's on fire. Breaking off. Two or three behind. Closing in. Right, I think it's time to go try and find the bombers again. They'll be up over Krimskaya by now, so let's get cracking. Right, I've got aerial contacts down here. Dogfight. I'll go help out. See if we can work out what they are. Appears to be a 109 shooting at a friendly. It's gonna help this guy out. I've got six. What is it? Can't tell. I'm going to get in and have a look closer. Looks like another 109. Yep.
quick look behind. He's not flying particularly uh, fast or aggressively, this chap. We'll just close on here. Oops. Finally hit him. There is another one behind me. And they're fighting, so... Should probably go and see what's happening over there. Don't have much speed here. Try and close the gap now. I think I can leave him. We'll go have a look at this guy over here now. Uh, which one's the hostile? don't believe it's that one. It's not that one. Okay, it is this one here. Okay, he's also smashed to pieces. Another one over there, friendly. Okay. Okay, I've got more contacts low over in this direction, dogfighting. And my engine is really having a hard time here. But it says it's okay on the, uh, I've just turned the HUD on because it, it was making all sorts of very low RPM sounds, but it seems alright. Okay. Low contacts down there. Pretty sure these guys are Germans. Mm. 
No, friendly. And he was shooting at a German on my six. Very good. That was a good warning. Oh, that German's going in. He just got nailed by that AI. Is there anything left here? Friendly. Okay, well, it all looks like friendlies here now. There's Krimskaya, I'm pretty sure. Let's just have a quick look at the map. Yep, that's Krimskaya just on my right. So that's the target. The bombers have uh, been and gone. They will be well home by now. That could be a hostile aircraft, that one. That one there. Hard to tell. Nah, he's flying back to base. He'll be a friendly. Okay, so there we are. That's, uh, Mission complete, as far as I'm concerned. I don't really mind if we failed in our escort job on that mission because we hammered so many enemy fighters that uh, I think it was worth it. He's got a bit of speed this guy here. I'm pretty sure he's a friendly though. Yeah, he is. Let's go land. Could be my wingman. Quite possible. Okay, zero the throttle. It 
some flares letting me know that they've seen me I guess I think they don't know if that means I'm allowed to land or or what but oh well Gear down. It's the rest of the formation landing about the same time as me. So we just fly down the runway. And we still have to put up with that radio. I forgot to get the voice pack that I promised. Sorry about that. I will try and get it at some point. Mission complete. Let's end this one. So I know I didn't uh, actually escort the bombers to their target and back. But it was just too tempting to drop down on those low enemies. And you can see the result managed to notch up five victories during this mission so i think we can say from a from one perspective it was, it was a success perhaps not from all perspectives but i think the bombers got there and back because we were very close to the target area already by the time i dropped away to make that engagement they had about another 30 seconds of flying ahead of them so we were given the order of the patriotic something something first class now let's just quickly check the pilot stats just to see where we're at. Um, I don't think it shows how many missions I've flown. But I have now shot down 31 enemy aircraft. Um, I think I need to go to the world news to see where I stand now. I am the second top scoring Russian pilot after just 12 missions. <laughs> It's just too easy. Uh, Vladimir Salvesky has 32 one ahead of me. It should not be 31 after just 12 missions. Anyway, the career will continue.